Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Him and Georgie both. <laughs> it's the best news I've heard in ages. Can we get an amen, Padre? So, what happens now? What do you mean, what happens now? It's over. Done. Finished. I ain't talking to you. Just cause Sal Marcano's dead, Lincoln, doesn't mean it's over. Now, what you did and the size of it all, you created a storm in this here city. And it's gonna take a long time for it to dissipate. If it ever does. With Marcano dead, New Bordeaux belongs to me. Ain't nobody left to stand in my way. <laughs> you, you can't be serious. The, the point of this wasn't to replace Marcano, it was to remove him. This city's done gone through enough. It doesn't need another you, Sal Marcano. This city? You've got to be fucking kidding me. This city is a cesspool. It's where people come to fuck and drink and get high. You watch your filthy mouth. It's what the city is, Padre. If it's not giving another Sal Marcano, it's going to shit one out. He's right. If it ain't going to be me, it's going to be somebody else. Probably somebody worse. Amen. Thank you. You remember what you told me when you came back from the war? How, how, how you wanted to, 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 to go to California? Leave all this behind? And just start all over? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Well, it ain't too late, Lincoln. You can still go. Go! And don't look back. Listen, I'd love to stay here and debate the merits of one crime boss over another, but I've got a schedule to keep. Bit of advice, though? The scumbags you've been working with, kill them. All of them. Bury them before they bury you, buddy. Oh. I'll be seeing you, Padre. God forgive me for standing by you through all this, Lincoln. But if you do anything except leave, we're finished. You hear? Fuck. A man's soul can only carry so much. And mine is on the verge of breaking. Let me please introduce myself.
Sal and Georgie are gone. And after all the shit we've been through, we run this city. Now, that's the kind of news you never get tired of hearing. So we finally gonna get our chance to make things right in this town. Bring a balance to things. Wasn't certain we'd ever actually get here. After all the bullshit, it's almost impossible for me to wrap my brain around the fact that we actually did it. You're a fucking saint, Lincoln. And I'm honored to know you. We're not here because of what I did, or because of what any of y'all did. We're here because we stood together. And as long as we stay strong, ain't no one ever gonna fuck with us. After he killed Sal Marcano, Lincoln Clay took over. But he wasn't content just to run the city. He expanded out across the South into Florida and even the Carolinas. There's so much money coming in, and he's been smart with it. He spreads it around, makes sure the right people get paid and stay paid. The city's favorite son, hmm? Yeah. Rebuilding the hollow. Buying up Frisco Field, reopening the theme park, all that money and goodwill. He thinks it's made him untouchable, but no one is untouchable. He might have plastered his name across a few schools and hospitals, uh, made donations to a charity here and there, but nothing absolves him of his crimes. That's why I agreed to do this documentary. I want to shine a light on the real Lincoln Clay. Lincoln gave in to everything. Drugs, booze, prostitutes, you name it. He made a dollar. He was involved. Seeing him on the news, strutting around. Sometimes I... I think he should have died over at Sammy's with all the rest of them. It'd be uh, kind of a piece in that. Any of this? <laughs> 